Hey everyone, thanks for your continued interest in Game Club. We're actually picking up loads of momentum on our side, and as of this weekend, I'm happy to announce that we're working on updating over 50 classic mobile games. If you've liked what we've had in our early access program so far, the rest of the stuff that we have coming will make you just as happy. Uh, this week's game is actually Chopper 2, which was released back in 2010 by David Frampton of Magic Jungle. Uh, it's a sequel to the original Chopper, which uh, was a App Store launch game, and that particular game was inspired by the Apple II game Choplifter, which had you kind of similarly piloting a little helicopter, picking people up, dropping people off, and, and doing other sort of helicoptery kind of things. Um, it's almost laughable to think about now, but the original Chopper was one of the early App Store success stories. Um, it came out in a very early interview that uh, David Frampton revealed that he was selling about 500 copies a day of the original Chopper, which was priced at $7.99. Uh, and that turned a lot of heads when that news came out. So Chopper 2 was released about two years later and improved upon Chopper in just about every way it possibly could. Um, Chopper was built in this uh, 2D engine that was pretty flat and everything else, and Chopper 2 takes things up a notch by adding 2.5D graphics, which uh, just add this incredible layer of depth to the game that was just like completely absent in the original. Uh, so the gameplay of Chopper 2 involves uh, flying your helicopter to rescue people, there's search and destroy missions, there's missions where you need to kind of like escort a caravan and, and defend it from attackers and many other sorts of mission types in, in many different locations. Um, what makes Chopper 2 particularly noteworthy is the amount of attention to detail that went into this game's controls. Um, <clears throat> it was built using actual helicopter pilot feedback. Um, when you play the game, the, uh, it uses a non-linear kind of tilt control scheme, so it plays a little different from a lot of tilt-based controls, but according to people that have experienced flying helicopters, it's super realistic, so I have always thought that that is... Uh, that's pretty neat. Not only does it use the accelerometer, but it also leans on the gyroscope of your iPhone as well, so it has super duper precise tilt controls. However, if you're not into the whole tilt control thing, there's also virtual, virtual controls too, but I really think that you should at least give the tilt controls a shot because so much effort was put into them. Um, <clears throat> the original Chopper is one of the best action games on the App Store, and um, Chopper 2 really is everything that a fantastic sequel should be. Um, it's aged surprisingly well, and in my opinion, is just as fun in 2019 as it was in 2010. So definitely give it a look. The test flight links will be either in your email or in the video description below this video. So uh, feel free to share those rounds to or share those around to friends, family, colleagues, uh, and anyone else that you think would be interested in this kind of game. The more people you are playing it, the better. And um, if you notice any bugs or have any other feedback, feel free to just uh, shoot us an email at feedback at gameclub.io. Or if you'd like, you can join our Discord, uh, which you can find at discord.gg forward slash game club. That's also a really cool place to hang out with a bunch of uh, people that are super into what we're doing. So I really hope you enjoy Chopper 2. Uh, if you have any problems with it, please reach out. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, ideas, or otherwise for Game Club, um, you know, just, just hit us up. We're super easy to find. Again, the email is feedback at gameclub.io or join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash game club. Thanks, have a good day, and I hope you enjoy Chopper 2.